my name is Rasmus and I'm here uh, reviewing the 1923 Herring Vintage Hop. Um, it's a, it got this, I think it's pear, um, a wooden comb, uh, a very distinctive um, instrument to play because you really feel that it's a great bit different from other harmonicas because of the br uh, wideness of the reeds. Uh, I have. I will compare it to another wooden harmonica, but this one is from Honor. Um, if you see, it's roughly the same size. The herring is a tiny bit wider, a tiny, tiny bit. Uh, they got uh, kind of the same structure, which is quite uh, nice too. And the, uh, the thing is about these hops, other th as I said, they have a wider, um, a broader. Uh, set of reeds, so it's a bit hard to blow, and uh, so. But I think I heard that they should hold longer. I'm not quite sure. I can't verify this, but um, they are supposed to do so. So uh, this one is an E, as you heard. It's a bit high in the tone. I only have one in E. I haven't bought any more because I really don't like this harmonica that much. Usually when I review harmonicas I'm like yeah everything's great, this is one that you could use all the time blah, blah, blah. but this one I would be more... Sp uh, if you want something more specifically like this a bit then I should recommend it otherwise this is not the first thing I would recommend to a beginner nor someone who just likes to try something out. This is for someone who really knows what they're looking for someone dedicated. Uh, so, as I said, it's a bit tougher, it's a bit harder to make it react. Even though it's very responsive. Uh, to bend the notes is a bit harder than usual harps, I think at least. You get this bend, but you really have to sustain it with the whole of your body to get the real uh, sustainable bendings. and then. Um, uh, so it's not a bad hop, uh, definitely not, I wouldn't say that. It's about 35 um, pounds, I guess, in Swedish crowns, it was... F uh, no, I guess it's more. I think it was about 430 Swedish crowns, so I guess it's like 40 pounds or something. Um, and it comes in this great box, though. That's the greatest thing about this, I think. I use this box for all my harmonicas, basically. It's in a great texture, and it's, um, and it's really sturdy and it's got this thing that you can close and unclose the zipper. Um, however, so it has a nice sound, it definitely has, even though I do not prefer it, at least from my experience and with my yeah, with my like way of playing harmonica, this isn't my harmonica because it's a bit tough to play and I like my harmonicas to be very gentle so that everything that I do will come out like um, consequently, because I think that it's hard in the bottom and the high pitch thing, uh, the high pitch uh, holes on this one, to get the right, like, to get the right sound. At least I had problems with it. It's like when I try to shug, I don't get the right. It's a bit too hard for me to blow in and out. That's, uh, of course, if you've got great lungs and if you uh, experience harmonica user, this will not be a problem. So, and I don't really like the texture of the harmonica by itself because it's got this, like, it got this nice, like, vintage look, though it's, like, polished in some, like, um, I really don't know, it's, like, got this weird polish everywhere. And I think it's, like, it feels weird against my lips. I like to have the, like, metal straight against my lips, but this has this polish and uh, it's not my style just and I'm not really keen about the like the um, because I think if you look at these two this one is a bit bulkier, it goes a bit more it's a bit more to have in your mouth when you're trying to do these deep blows and on the honor and the other MS types that has a quite similar shape, they are a bit narrower, they're a bit um, smaller, so it's much easier, I think, to use these ones than this. Uh, so I'm not really keen about this one, even though I think 
it's definitely you get what you pay for. You do. Uh, the reed plates, uh, no, the cover plates sadly have no um, support, so it's it falls over like this quite easily, and that's sad. Uh, even though you can fix it quite easily, definitely, but I don't. Yeah, I'm not really keen about this one. But it has great appearance. It has a good tone, definitely. I think sometimes it's a bit unreliable. But that might be just because I'm not that much of a... I'm used to harmonicas that, easier, that are easier to make tones in. So, if you know what you want, if you want a powerful harmonica that you really need to force, uh, that you need force to like... If you like to blow a lot in your harmonica and you like to blow it hard and you like this like old-time bluesy style, then I would recommend this, I would. Uh, though... I would definitely recommend other harmonicas above it because it's not really my type. Though we've got this like it nice. Um, most um, other harmonicas, this falls off, but this has a really this still sticks. And though I have it in E, so I'm not quite sure. But I don't think that it's def definitely not. If you're a beginner, you shouldn't use this. Definitely not. Uh, if you're an experienced pro, you might. I'm not that experienced, so. Many people would definitely like it and would definitely like the thickness of the tone because it has a thickness, definitely. Though this is an E, I can still do this like. and get this feeling of broadness. And uh, yeah, and that's quite everything. It's not that brassy, so I think that's, that's a con for me at least, but many people don't like the brassy sound. So, um, though it has brass reeds. Uh, of course, not of course, say it'll have some other ones. And it's easy to disassemble and such, so it's not that much of a deal, except that it's a bit hard to blow and it's not my style. And a good wooden comb, it hasn't uh, done anything strange to me. Um, the comb is still intact and uh, it hasn't changed or shifted that much. So I would recommend it if you really know what you want to. Uh, I hope this helps because uh, before you buy it, you should really consider it. Though I wouldn't say this is a bad hop, I would just say that I don't like it and it's uh, not my style. So that's all for me. Uh, more reviews are coming up, so have a good one and subscribe and like if you want to, I don't know. Bye.